What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Georgia Bassmaster channel. I have something crazy, interesting, or exciting. More crazy for you guys today. So I took my regular Yum umbrella rig and I decided to take a blade off an original Z-Man chatterbait. So here's my Yum umbrella rig. If you guys remember my video with Larry on the Alabama rig video, this was the Alabama rig we caught that 25 pound bag on. And check it out. This is where I attached my chatterbait blade right here at the top. Check it out, guys. That is crazy. So now I have the world's first ever chatterbama rig. So if this was the Z-Man jackhammer blade, I think it would be called the Bammer Hammer. I don't know. Let me know, let me let me know in the comments what this thing should be called. Is it the Chalabama rig, the Chatterbama rig, the Alabama Chatter? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below, but without further ado, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button. Leave this video a like. And without further ado, I'll go ahead and see you guys on the lake. Let me know what you think about this. I thought this was a crazy, crazy idea because as far as I know, not one single company on the market makes a Chatterbait Alabama rig. As far as I know, this is the world's first, to my knowledge, and I'm pretty sure I was telling my dad that if it works, Somebody's gonna watch this video and make millions of dollars on it and not give me any credit like usual But without further ado, I'll see you guys out on the lake. Just a second. What's going on everybody? We are out here on the lake. It is a warm 42 degrees or something like that out here and it's just getting colder by the second my hands are Frozen, but anyways, I have the old Chat chatter bama rig out here. So as far as I know that is the world's first chatter bama rig i'm sure after this video comes out some company will see it patent it and make millions of dollars on it and i'll still be broke and my dad is up here throwing an alabama rig as well so if, you're, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel subscribe leave this video a like for as crazy as this is comment down some below some mate some more possible crazy ideas but we're gonna go ahead and get to fishing Hopefully we don't freeze to death. Hopefully we catch some fish. So I don't know. See you guys in a second. One. I got it. Bama rig got me one. The chatter Bama rig at that. And he swallowed that one hook. I did my old uh, paws. Yeah. As you can see, the old Chatterbama rig, first fish of the day. He's probably close to three pounds. So, nice one. We're gonna get some more casts on this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the live well, just in case I get some more. I'll take a video with this thing in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get back to casting. The first fish of the day on the Chatterbama rig, probably a three pounder, but hit it on that stop and go action. Go ahead and put that thing back in the live well. But if you guys don't fish a lot of uh, Alabama rigs, uh, I like to just stop the line and then reel and then stop. And my dad uses a twitch, which kind of does the same thing. Basically these fish will follow these Alabama rigs and they'll be following it. And as soon as you stop it or twitch it, they kind of run into it and it kind of forces them to bite it. And the twitch also kind of looks like the bait fish are trying to run away. So they'll pretty aggressively go and attack it. So first fish of the day, doing pretty good. Trying to get some more quality and quantity. So let's keep it up. That was one I didn't use. 
Oh, right there. He come up and hit it at the boat, man. We might be sitting on where they're at. They might be further off the bank. Chatterbama rig got another one. I had it just dangling in the water like this over here looking at your line because you said you had a hit. Yeah. And he come up. My lure wasn't even moving. There he is. Big? Uh-oh, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. All I see is bass. Ow. I just hooked myself. He's pretty good. Oh, he's got a double hook. That's one. About five, four and a half pounds. All right. Yeah, come. I got a good two and a half, and Dad's is about four and a half so the chatter bama rig putting the hook will hurt on them there's more bass through here man more bass through here put those in the live well and continue to cast so uh let me stop the video right here and let you guys know that my file corrupted i literally in this clip i caught a six pound bass and the file corrupted. I've done everything I could do to fix it. So anyways, when the video starts, I'm gonna be talking about how I put it in the live well. So you'll see the bass at the end of the video because I managed to get it on this camera, but I didn't manage to get the catch on tape because my file corrupted. So my apologies for that. Anyways, like the next bass I catch is five pounds and then I catch one that's like four pounds. <clears throat> so more big bass on tape, but my luck the biggest bass of the day the file corrupted so that sucks but like i said you'll get to see the bass at the end of the video so i guess that's not too bad so see you guys in just a second all right just put him in the live well i will get a video with him in just a second yeah he hit it i'm to my i didn't think he's gonna hit it that fast because like i i was reeling this bamboo rig as fast as i could Cause I knew that spot was shallow and I just saw waves come from like three foot away just attack it it's crazy man because you know the water temperature is probably 44 degrees something like that and they're still super aggressive on chat on Alabama rigs I think these things just like really trigger their aggression or something Cause like you can throw spinner baits and chatter baits out here and they're not as aggressive. I think if you did the thing like you were saying where uh you put the weightless yeah. swim bait heads on there, like straight up no weight. That felt like a bite, but no weight at all. And you could really just look at the bull. That was a bite. Oh my gosh. Remember when I said I said I felt like a bite? Yeah, it was. That was probably as big, if not bigger, than the one I just caught. Yeah. That bull come up for like five seconds was huge. He, he, he was down on the bottom when he made that bull. I know. That was, uh, that was a big one. Man. That was a big one. Look, big bass. Right About six pounds. My grippers are out there. I hooked them in the back. <laughs> Here, I'm trying to reel lightly. Wobblam! The chatter bama rig does it again. <laughs> yes! I barely had him hooked too. Yeah. He's he's pretty skinny considering his pre-spawn. Yeah, All right, we're getting a live well full of uh... Woo! But you know, bending and bending. Eventually it's gonna snap. Eventually. 
You just hope it don't snap with a monster on it. Yeah, that's what that's the good thing. There's another one. <laughs> These things are slamming it, man. Yeah. Yeah, I I haven't seen a bass jump that high in a minute. That thing got some air on him. That's all I was saying, man. I really like these white albino ones or whatever color it is. I love them. Bam. I don't even know what number this is anymore. But I know we got a live well slap full of bass. Gonna have to start culling them here pretty soon. Wasn't big enough to worry about. I want five plus pounds, preferably. Is that one? He's pretty good, whatever he is. That's a spot, man. Look at that thing. Oh man, I hooked him in the belly too. His stomach was so fat. I feel bad for him, man. Look at the belly on that. I ain't caught a football spot like that in a while. Look at that thing. I'm telling you, that's a nice, that's a pretty spot right there. That is a fat spot, man. I'm putting him in the live well. Man, if we could catch bass with bellies that size. That thing's got some eggs in it. No doubt. All right. Uh, it's been pretty crazy out here on the Chatter Bama rig. I got a five pound, 10 ounce. I caught another one like two or three casts later. He's, he's well over four pounds. So I might have another five pounder. I'll have to weigh him. I think we got three five pounders in the boat though on the Chatter Bama rig. So am I onto something new? Do we need to get a patent? I don't know. I don't know. Do they already make one of these? I don't know. Leave it in the comments if you actually know a company that already makes one of these and actually makes it better because it could probably be improved a pretty good bit because I just literally took a original chatterbait blade and a swivel or a lock swivel or a lock ring, whatever the things are called, and attached it. So. We got one more bank to go down. Maybe we can get another big one and then we will go up to the boat ramp and uh, get a video and a picture for you guys before dark because I want to get a picture of all these fish. Probably have eight or nine bass, three of them that are over five. So we're going to go ahead and keep fishing or I will see you guys at the ramp, whichever one comes first. Yes, sir. Two of the best ones right there. Both of them over five. Chatterbama rig. So we're gonna go ahead and get a picture. I think we got probably one more in here that's probably over five. So we're gonna take some pictures and get them released. See y'all girls. What's going on guys? All right, back at the house now. It was freezing cold out there, so I'm very excited to be back in the house. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end of the video. My subscribers are gaining every single day. I'm on the road to 10K. That is my goal by the summertime, so help me out. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Appreciate all the support. Until the next time, see you guys later. Peace.